When it comes down to moments in SK and what they meant for the brand, it goes far beyond Counter-Strike and the Swedish team. Uh, lifting the trophy here in Cologne at Langsas Arena with a Counter-Strike team 14 years after you won the first World Championship and to call yourself number one in the world, that is probably the biggest moment in my career at SK. Cologne is a special event for me because my first tournament in my life, international tournament, was Cologne. When I come to Cologne, every time, I don't know, but I'm feeling really amazing playing. Lynx's Arena is really the cathedral of, of Counter-Strike. It's just amazing to play there. And of course, Cologne is a very special city, city for us because SK, the entire organization, is built there. And the fact that we won Cologne last time, we want to win it again. What do you think about the tournament as a whole? Do you think you can win it? Uh, the expectations are always to win. Of course, it's a very difficult tournament. A lot of good teams. I don't think there is any easy match on this tournament. Uh, hopefully, we can get off group stage. Then we can start thinking of playoffs and then win the tournament. Something uh, Thorin always says is the group stages are like minefields. You know, like your your only objective is to get through them. That's that's it. We jump into the action. Of course, Space Soldiers going up against SK Gaming. Second game here in the group stage to see how this is going to boil down. It should be explosive. This Dutch favor part. Yes, they look at the but it doesn't matter. Coldzera finds the headshot. Unbelievable. And that release of pressure here for SK Gaming. Now they know at least they've guaranteed overtime. And we'll see if Furtis Pro can give up the same fight with a horrible buy. Especially some of those, I think, CT side AWP kills are just so hard to deal with. Looks like they will fall for it. Run burst right into the middle. The alley never saw it coming. Now the pressure from highway starts to mount, but MSL will meet Fallen with fire as it's down to a 3v2 and it's SK again. Just turning the screws tighter onto North and they're just not getting away with much here. Config would have loved to have a couple of players alive, maybe a bomb plant to really encourage his mid play, but he still does it. Still collects two kills and it's game back on and look at this positioning. Fur is pushed up. They're being an incredible team making mistakes there, but Fur looks like he's going to have the advantage. Still running, finds an easy nice. kill in the back. Side, but doesn't know which one's gonna be exposed first. It's Kenny, but he fires through the wall. Apex able to swing down to just fall, and he's gonna get act fast. Good shot on Apex immediately. Doesn't know where the bomb is. It's on the other side. Taps it to try and bait Kenny, and he knows he's gonna peek with the AWP. But who's faster between the two? It's fallen. Shot fallen. Falls off to take a damage. Body who gets close. Good thing fallen's up to the aspects. Very oh. tight angled shots. He'll get Kenny as well. He's still working inside of the site. He knows they're likely to go above him. He looks away at the wrong oh! time and somehow still hits it. Shocks goes down and Fallen is unstoppable. In this inferno was pretty hard because on this side we st study too much then and Falling I think is a little bit pressure. You need to play a little bit more faster against G2 or you need to win those out duels against Kenyas. It's one or the other, and we failed, and that's why we lost to G2, in my opinion. 
So we can't play North, obviously, we, because we played them before. But all others are still wide open. We can play Mouse Sports, we can play Cloud9, Fnatic, and the winner of Optic against Face, so most likely Optic. To me, Fnatic is the best team out of the options, but on paper we should win against all of them. We'll be fine. But you still win every event, so it's fine. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to Optic. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm saying what to do for the playoffs. Yeah, please care. Please care. He don't want to play against us. First piece format? <laughs> Who bought first piece format? Come here now. We did not. We got Fnatic again. Life is hard. Yeah, I'll be alone. Fnatic? I told you. <laughs> This could be some fantastic Counter-Strike. Just think about who you have in that server right now. All of that's going to culminate in one of these legendary CSGO names going home, tail between their legs. Watching from the stands is what they will be doing as the others will be participating in that wild Lanxess arena. SK Fnatic clash for just one spot. Fnatic on that match, I think it was the match where we had so many retakes and uh, that was a very relieving match because if we lost it, we'd be out of group stage again. It was us or Fnatic, so it's better than the home than us. There was one retake that we tackled, purpling in 2v3, and I think there was one guy on the triple box, one guy on the default plant box, and one guy on Tetris. The guy on the default had an AWP, and I was on the stairs with Taku. So as I started going to the side, I was like, I'm gonna try to go sneaky and kill the guy on Tetris because the guys on side are too scary. And as I get made contact with the guy on Tetris, I was like, all right, so that's the point where the guys on side will try to get help the guys on Tetris, so I have to fall back because I'm gonna die for them. So I instantly go back and predict the move on the default guy and kill the default guy. So now it's a different situation. Now it's me and Taco against the guy on triple box and Tetris. And then mistakes happen. Like the triple guy tried to fight as well together with the default and Taco was back in the triple guy. So now it's a 2v1 and now we know what to do. So to don't lose this 2v1, the first one has to die and create space for the second one to kill him. I think the, the communication was like, come with me, I'm gonna die, you kill him. Dodging all of Meister there and Fallen, and he does a bit. Taco to help out as well, but it's still a 2 on 3. Fallen backing off, that sets it up for Taco to spray down Dennis, and now they know exactly where Crips is playing from. It's a matter of rushing them together as a duo. Crips trying to play the angles, and he will hit the headshot on Fallen, but Taco there to trade the kill. One bullet away from death, and there's one of them, and there's the next Taco to take the last kill of the game, 16-6. When the other team is letting you have freedom and take the action, sometimes you can win retakes because they are hiding, there are three players, but they are playing too scary, so you can fight them one by one. It really relies on a lot of team play, a lot of uh, game sense from everyone involved. And that only happens because we lost rounds on 2v1 for someone on Twitter in the past. As you lose rounds, you learn. And if you learn, you have to repeat on the match. Now, it's time to the real tournament. To go to the playoffs, to the big stage. Uh, that's why we are playing this tournament. I think the crowd is the most important thing for us in Cologne. I think it's going to be 14,000 people watching. So I want, personally, I want to play to, to a big crowd. So I will be happy. The main problem that we fixed today is that Fair doesn't know how to be the lurker. 
because every time someone is taking action, like suppose we leave him mid and then we go away. And then as soon as he's seeing someone from CT killing one of ours, he's like, oh my god, I need to help, they're losing. So he starts chasing a kill and then he dies. <laughs> and then after the game he said, when are you going to be working, please get your kill. So the difference between us having a bad entrance and losing one or two guys is going to be on your part. You're going to kill one for us for free if you'll be patient. Cold is playing a little bit nervous. I need to talk to him. It's the seventh edition of Counter-Strike Global Offensive at ESL 1 and the fourth consecutive year right here in Cologne. We've already trimmed the 16 teams to just eight as we head into the playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cathedral of Counter-Strike. This is ESL 1 Cologne! A very warm welcome to all of you who are tuned in around the world, whether you're at home or in a bar enjoying oh, Counter-Strike. Huh? This is the place to be over the next three days. Essa é a sua música? Essa é a música do, do momento agora. É a nova do Kelly, o Kelly já acredita. Essa mina, e quando ela empina, eu já faço bem na vida. Lynx's arena, when you come to the stage, the harmony is so good. The atmosphere is so good in, in this arena. will be starting this one up on the CT side, SK Gaming, to bring it all as they begin on T. Kind of trying to figure out exactly what's about to happen to you. It's going to increase the nerves just a little bit. You've got two players playing very close by here. Tarek will be the first port of call. As now, contact is made, he spots two, maybe more, and the hit will begin. Haze falls back and he knows what's coming his way now. Gotta do a lot though. This could be a double kill. There's very low. That's Phelps, but he can't find the kill. Now swarming into the bomb site. Rush is here though, but they're missing every. Oh! What a spin! Rush recovers. I don't know how he's done that. But staying alive for the moment. Two bullets. He's trying to buy time for this flank coming in. Yeah, Mixwell can be integral to this. There he is. He strikes and there it is. Optic get the first one on the board. It's a step. It's a small one, but it's in the right direction. There it is, and the second, the follow-up. It opens up the bomb site for just a moment. The rotation is on. They've the got to start doing this, and you can see Fallen wants it. Oh, the tag as well. Fallen, he can't make it happen. It's down to Taco, who got this one started. Can he finish this? Time, Tarek doesn't have it. He's got to go for this right here, right now. And Taco knows it. He takes the fight and he wins it. Fighting his time at Hayes doesn't clear out the site well enough. Some more pot shots coming out from Taco. He can't land him. Finally under rush. 
Yeah, and Mixwell is doing something incredible. 36 seconds. Oh, Mixwell! It's a 1v1! No, he loses it! Heartbreak for Mixwell, but another chance in for SK. And Nav takes it one step further. Can you believe it? This could be happening. It's a 2v1 fallen again with the weight of the entire team on his shoulders here. The first victim is Tarek. There could be a second. Player by necessity in a one-on-one -on -one fallen. I don't think he spotted that movement. There's Hazy sees him out and he does it. Optic has taken the first map. I think the match is one of the matches where I didn't have any joy playing. And I don't know the specific reason. It's just that I wasn't feeling good on that day, and it's something that sometimes it can happen. And I remember that this match was pure frustration. I think a loss can be important for you during a tournament, and I think when you lose during a match, you have time to rework on the map you lost. You don't look for problems when you're winning. You normally think everything is, is good and that's dangerous because it can go very wrong. Let's stay calm, let's play the second map because in the PO3 for us every map is a good map for us. So we know we can beat everyone in these three maps. People know what SK are going to do on this map. You know what Fur's going to do, you know what Fallen's going to be, but it's more than that. You have to be able to beat that. Straight towards Rush, but the position is noted. Hard to back away from this, but they have to commit, and he's still doing work. He's still doing damage. The rotation is on, but they're going to beat it. Fallen trying to get below with the MVP to get the angle. It's going to be smoked off. So he goes above. Molotov descends in it. Heroic plays from Fallen to bring this into a two on two. The Molly begins to burn. It hasn't quite spread yet. They're holding their nerve optic. They're trying to keep it together, but SK, they're going to start applying that final bit of pressure. But can they get there in time? Taco finds one. Oh, he's up to second, and he's going to do it. Time is on his side. Zera, a 1v2. It's a retake with orbs. It's not easy. It's though he knows he can do this. Losing is not an option. Oh, Cold is an animal, isn't he? This guy! Counter Strike is an interesting game. If the team has not the energy it should have, not really things go south. So let's get ourselves back. Let's play with joy, let's play with happiness, let's give everything you have. Tarek's all alone with the bomb, and Taco keeps pushing up. He wins the stool, it could be all over. Tarek's got nothing in his hands. He's got a nade. That's the bomb down. Optic have to recover. 35 seconds left. The clock becomes a factor now. Oh, just being careful. He's got support for in the heels. The bomb goes down. 15 seconds. It's all on mix. Well, the 1v4. Is it even possible at this point? Taco will fall, but 10 seconds. It's clock ticking time and fur. Doesn't care about the time left. He wants the job done, and it's SK Gaming to make it to the Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Fallen, it's, um, it's always great to see you in the winner's enclosure. I love interviewing you. Is this, is this a lucky cathedral of Counter-Strike? Is it like where, where you love playing? Yeah, Cologne is something special. Uh, SK is here. The, our office is actually in Cologne, so we were very familiar with staying here. And Lanxys Arena is one of the best places to play Counter-Strike. All right, don't go anywhere. We've still got more to come from Alex, the machine, and the panel. We'll see them next. There's four teams left here at ESL One Cologne. The Lancaster will be raising the roof for FaZe Clan versus SK. Every time we play FaZe, uh, as we have been beating them for, for recent times, there's always something in my mind, maybe this is going to be the time they beat us. But then the match starts and things start rolling. They picked it over past, and I did a very good preparation on how I wanted to approach that city side. So I was able to identify where I could position myself during the rounds and make a difference for my team. 
We know they will pick overpass because we beat them on Inferno, we beat them on Train, we beat them on Cash. So we know we will play overpass against them and we prepared really, really hard. It's been really struggling for openings. You think back to Alu finding Falu in the previous round, but this one, the flashback isn't designed for that angle. Now we have a B rush. Tarko, enjoy yourself. Look at the damage coming in. The Molly is perfect at SK. Brush aside phase. And even with Kerrigan, try as he may, there's no getting past Taco right now. He's the monster at the end of that tunnel. Nico's gonna provide it, falling into the fight, brings it into a three on two. SK Gaming on match point, not here, not now. Fallen gets it done, Alu cannot save the day. Followers Fur and Phelps begin to tighten the noose, wind the coil up. Oh no, it's Nico down, it's fallen. And now there it goes again. Two more stand come hell or high water. SK Gaming do not want phase back into this. Alu and Rain need to do something incredible, unthinkable. And it has to start now. No, the shot misses. SK again, another step. The finals are one kill away. One man stands between SK Gaming and playing in those finals. He will not relent, he will not quit. He fights so hard. Another kill for Rain, but three more. Is it even possible? No! Cold Zera takes it for SK Gaming. The final kill, removing Rain from the battlefield and putting SK Gaming into the finals of ESL One Cologne. I feel like... Green comes through because that's the second ESL Cologne we play and we are going to play the second Grand Final so it's insane like the crowd, uh, the arena, everything is insane. I would feel so so bad if, if we were at the hotel watching the games. So I'm really happy. We're going to have the opportunity to play a BL5 tomorrow against Cloud9 and I'm really happy. Feel great, feel great. Always difficult match against them, yeah. but we're better. One more finals, and we are here to win. Cloud9, I'm waiting for you. So Cloud9 was doing a great tournament, and they are a very good team. I think they have great talent. They have some players that have this magic. Sometimes they. They can go hand. I think Automatic and Steel are great players. Kaduru is a great Alper. And going to the finals, all I had on my mind is we're going to revenge you guys for the loss we had in Sao Paulo. You guys broke our dreams there. We made the loss in front of our home crowd. So the mindset is we will go 3 0 on those guys because we're going to crush them. So we want to take the fight to get right and flashed in. Finds Phelps Molotov back toward the corner, and Shroud gets the two that want to split through connector by covering off drop. It's a good hold. This Cold Zero is the only one to get a kill back. It's on Stewie. Remember, they all had armor in Tech 9s. Well, he's now picked up the MP7 that Skadoodle dropped on the arm, but he won't get any further than that. He will not get a ball plant down. Cold's just fighting at this point to try and salvage the round. There's no way plant is in mind. It's all about kills. It's a one versus two. Knows one's close as well based on the nade. He said has the accuracy. Oh, oh! He gets off with Cold Zero! What a way to start off for SK as they tie it 1-1. One, one. Two players only for 
Cloud9 has nothing, capitalizes on the low HP. Tight angles to hold, headshots there, headshots there, but nothing. Has three more to find, and Fallen gets him through the smoke. We go one nothing in a best of five. When we know we will face Cloud9, everyone was pretty mad. So we play this game like uh, like a war, you know? It's a true war. <laughs> we want uh, win really hard this tournament against them for the revenge. So every second, every time, every round, we play thinking about victory. So far in the side of B, and Stewie and Skadoodle win it to drop the bomb for a moment off this. He's well removed. Time is gone, and he's gonna go down after the time if he's not careful. Oh, shot to save. Oh, fallen. My God. Back the CTs, that's the name of the game. Fallen hits two on the AWP, it's carried over and Cole follows it with a deagle. Fallen's got a third, and this is how you do it, that's how you win it. Five sevens for Thurf, he denies the first frag once again. Can't get the shot, like you say, it was difficult. Felt it takes nothing, it's shrouded the open this time, they finally win. Pit 10 5 at the half. This gets closer, no smoke down towards CT, and there's three. More Cloud9 to use. The problem is now where they're so in the open, even if they threw one, they would be able to push through it before it landed. Based on the angle it's thrown, so Phelps could go. He doesn't even need to wait to go. They walk into it, it's lined up, and it's done! Win against Dan is really special, and winning Cologne is a really special too for us because we won this tournament two times in a row. We won Cloud9, we get our revenge. So I think this tournament was the most important tournament for us. The feeling winning on Lexus Arena again was great. Uh, like a mission accomplished. And getting the third was real. Uh, it was, the entire team was like, we're actually doing it. We're going for the third tournament in a row. That's amazing. That's why we play it, to get those feelings. You can definitely see that for Phelps, it's something new. Phelps being able to lift his third trophy in a row in the big stage, it's, it's too new for him. You have five parts on the team. The five parts, when they stay together, makes a only one. So if one part is in the wrong, and just the four of this part stay together, you never can win, you cannot win, because this part is not complete. Winning three tournaments are always very huge. It's a magic history. I don't think many players will be able to do what we did. 